What is up, guys? Zan from Forward Progress Madden. Welcome back. Zan's Play a Day Series, Volume 5. Today, we're back in the single pack spread. Uh, we've done a lot of spread content so far. I'm really, really enjoying it. So we're going to stick in this formation. This is the West Coast Playbook. And the play that we are running is the PA slot option. So this play is a great quick snap play with uh, basically what's called a pin concept. You have a post on one side and an in route on the other. Pin concepts, great zone beater, whether it's cover three or cover four, because uh, you're really working on the safeties that are in the middle of the field, whether it's a cover three, you have one in center field, or if it's cover four, you have two of those guys each taking the inside quarter of the zone. Uh, what you should see is a one play touchdown going to the wide side of the field. So we're going to go ahead and flip the play so the post always runs to the wide side of the field. These two players right here are on option route. So if it's man coverage, they're going to break onto over the middle or to the outside, depending on which way you're running it. Um, if it's zone coverage, they're both going to check down. Uh, the nice little slot option to Aguilar could be a great little playmaker. Uh, Hollins is going to run his route over the middle at the very least. He may check down early or he may check down directly over the middle, just depending on what type of zone coverage they're in. But uh, the gist of this play is if you get time in the pocket, you should be able to bomb any type of cover force. So you're going to see right here the in route kind of holds that that free safety or that strong safety in the middle of the field, and you're able to bomb the post over the top. Now, if you have a strong arm quarterback and you have a fast receiver, you're going to see a lot better results out of this for a one play touchdown. But um, you can see right there, Alshon Jeffrey was still able to sneak behind, and he's not the fastest receiver in the world. So it's always something that you could try to uh, to, to work on here. You can see that he, he's able to beat cover four. You don't really have to worry about having the fastest receiver in the world. This is one of those pin concepts that works just because of the, the spacing of the play. It's a really, really nice play overall. Uh, cool thing is, like I said, you could run this to either side. Here's an example of if you have the post on the wide side going to the short side. Uh, you could try to fit this post over the top. It'll work just the same on the other side. I prefer to throw it to the uh, the wide side of the field just because it's more room to, to fit that throw over the top of the safety. You can see here that you know when you run it this way, um, you just have less field, less room for air. Um, it's not that the throw can't be made, but it's just it's a tougher throw to make. You, you can see though, it, it, it is an easy throw to make against pretty much any cover four. If they have 91 zone coverage, you're gonna need elite speed and elite arm strength to beat that guy. So just be aware that, um, you know, if they're lurking back there with the Krauses, the Dawkins, is the Deshaun Taylors, any of those guys, Earl Thomas, you have to be aware and have some arm strength and you need elite speed to, to make this work. If not, just pick the safety that isn't 91 zone and go bomb him. You should be able to do that as long as you have, you know, a receiver that's somewhere in the, the, the high 80 speeds. You're not going to need that elite 94. Of course, more is better uh, in, in, in that scenario. But as far as the underneath routes go, you can see that they're both going to check down. Um, and, and they provide really nice playmaker options for you underneath in the event that you're getting blitzed or block shedded, things like that. Uh, this play overall goes really well with the other play that we broke down. Uh, the Volume two, I believe, is where we talked about how to, the best route for beating Cloud Flats, and we showed that little play as well. So you can mix those two plays together. It should be a really nice play. Um, you should see pretty promising results out of this. And again, you can see that this is a really nice route combination to beat all kinds of zones, all kinds of zone beaters on the field. Don't always have to look for the big play on the post. Um, you're going to be able to see those in routes develop very, very nicely with how these option routes work. You can see that uh, those those two little hitch routes are really going to open up the dig to the, the X receiver on this play as well. Uh, one last thing that I'd like to touch on is if you don't like this player running this little uh kind of option in route be aware that his route does directly develop uh, affect the ability for the in route to get open behind him so if you were to just take him and put him on a hitch you would see the zones react a little bit differently notice how this hook zone can just now sit in the middle of the field and i don't really have a lane to throw that x receiver whereas if we leave him on the option route over the middle he should kind of check down you see how he pulls that hook zone down and now all of a sudden the x route is wide open rather than having that hook zone behind him so that route on the side of the in route is extremely valuable. Um, it's always gonna kind of draw that hook zone. You see how he draws that hook zone and then we have the little backside in route. Um, it's always something you need to be aware of. I would leave that, I highly recommend leaving that. If you want to do something uh, to get somebody open in the seam on the other side, um, or maybe just kind of do some sort of dragging concept, you could do that as well. Uh, so we put A on a drag, he should kind of run underneath the zones kind of open up some spacing. Uh, you're always going to have playmaker options on this play, but just letting you know, you probably need to leave that little option in route uh, underneath the deeper one. 
So that is it for Zan's play a day today, short and sweet. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Uh, got a video coming every day, Monday through Friday to help you guys think about Madden in a new and different way. Keep the game fresh for you. And uh, definitely go check this out. It's in the West Coast Playbook. West Coast Playbook and all the other generic playbooks are available in Mutt now. So um, some new looks for you guys to use and defend. So just be aware. Until next time, this is Zan. Get in the lab and good luck.